Why do some paintings have a cracked surface? A painting is like a slice of puff pastry made up of coarse, of very different materials. Catherine Lebray, art conservator. The first layer in the slice of puff pastry is normally the canvas, but the first supports were wooden panels. You can also have copper or stone, but we shall stick to the most traditional example, painting on canvas. So the first layer, the canvas. The second layer added by the painter, glue. The third layer, a preparatory layer on this glue, which is also based on animal product with added calcium carbonate, for example. Then there is the drawing. The drawing is a very thin layer. It has no effect on the aging. The more it takes shape, the more the painter loads his pigments with oil to assemble the composition and finish his painting. Some of the layers are very sensitive to variations in climate, especially to humidity. The most sensitive layer to humidity is the sizing applied to the canvas. It becomes hard as it ages. It becomes soft again when there is slightly too much humidity. It retracts when the atmosphere is slightly too dry, and it carries everything with it. It carries with it the picture layer, which becomes less and less supple as it ages. And after a while, the poor picture layer cracks over, trying to absorb all the movements of this sizing layer. It has no option. There is the glue layer which comes into play, but there is also the canvas which does what the glue layer does, for it is also very sensitive to fluctuations in humidity. When it is very humid, it swells and expands, and when the atmosphere is drier, it hardens. And the poor painting, which is still there, which is not at all elastic, has to absorb these differences in dimension, which it does by cracking, at worst by lifting.